hello guys and welcome to this new video in the game engine series hope you guys are doing good in today's video i'm gonna be showing you some new stuff that i've added to the game engine so i've been working on this these last few days and uh, there are some few stuff that i added and i really want to show that so that you guys uh, actually know what is going on behind the scene now but before we get to that um i just want to say some couple of things that are really important to me the first thing is i really want to thank all my patreon for their support to my channel so if you're a patron it really means a lot so the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the fact that i'm going to be changing the format of the videos what i've been doing is i upload a video where i try to implement the code and you know explain everything which is going on if i show you the project right now i haven't done much but the code is so huge i mean i don't know how many lines of code i have here and if i have to implement everything uh while doing the video then it's gonna be messed up and that's why i'm gonna be changing this to something uh more constructive for you and now me. the so new I concept is gonna be me explaining um you know the things that i've done if i added for example a shader for lighting like for now I'm not using the phone lighting system that I had in the prior version of this. I'm using the PBR, the physical base. So that's the one I'm using right now for lighting. So if I want to talk about that, then I'm going to do a video where I explain how it works and show you a little bit of the code, how it looks like. And, uh, you know, so that you guys can get inspired by it and actually learn something from it. So that's basically how I'm going to be doing the videos in the future. So let's talk about the new things that are in this game engine. I basically have two main things that I want to show, but there is a lot more behind the scene that I probably don't have in my head right now. But as I start uploading videos to explain how things work, I'm probably going to be talking and showing that. So don't worry if I don't mention something and to just write me in the comment section below. If you have any question, if you want to know anything, if you have any concern and things like that. So I have two main things that I want to show today. The first one is I'm now able to actually start, start the scene. I have the serialization and I'm also able to add component at runtime. So these are the two main things that I want to show. So as I said, I'm now able to actually start the scene. So if I add an entity, for example, and I go out and say, I'm going to add a component. As you can see here, I have a list of components. I have the camera component. I have a rigid body. I have a material. I have a mesh renderer. I have a model. I have a directional light, point light, and spotlight. So if I add, like, let's say, uh, a mesh renderer to that object, you see it just appears here. I can move that object around and, you know, position it in the scene as I want and things like that. I still don't uh, have the select. I mean, something that shows that an object is currently selected. I still don't have that, but I'm going to be working on that also. You can see I can add a mesh renderer. I can also say, okay, I'm going to be adding a rigid body. Adding a rigid body, I can actually, you see here, we have the gravity scale. Now, the reason why the object is not falling is because the gravity scale is actually zero. Because, you know, the gravity is a constant, but I can scale how the gravity affects this object. So if I turn this to something negative, then you see this object start moving up. But if I turn this to something positive, it start falling. And you see, and I also have linear drag here and the mass of the object. So if I increase the, ma the mass of the object, then the object fall faster and things like that. So that's basically the idea behind it. So you see, I still need to put some things here to initialize the values and things like that. Because, yeah, this is messed up. So I can simply enter the value with the keyboard and put zero there. And also here, put zero and the object is back. So you see, I have a uh, material. I can add material. And you can see we have uh, the metallic, the roofness, the albedo. I'm still working on this. As I'm using the physical base, uh, you know, lighting system, something like that. Uh, that's why I can actually, you know, modify my 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 object here and define the material. Uh, it's actually working, so that's not a point. It's actually working, but I have I still have some new stuff that I need to implement on that to make it feel like that. Now the reason why you can see all these things is because I have this global light right here. So I can remove it and uh, if I remove that, this entity here, then you see the skybox is not seen anymore and we have no light effect on these guys anymore. They're just, you know, flat. So if I add a new entity and go out and add a directional light to it, then you see the light actually affects the object and 
that's something we really want to have as i said i can serialize my scene so if i hit this this will be saved and if i close this and uh, run this again then you will see my scene just come back so if i um let's say i just rotate the scene like this save this close open you see it just comes normally now i'm using uh, xml serialization i'm going to be talking about that in a separate video and explain um why and yeah how i did that uh, yeah it's 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 really important because that's uh, that's a part of the game engine which is quite crucial you don't want someone to come and edit thing and just you know just let it go like that that's why i wanted to have this in place before i even move further to other things so that's basically what i had to show in this video there is a lot more behind the scene in the code and uh, i cannot just talk about that right now i'm going to be uploading videos and trying to explain all of that so i want to thank you guys again for watching this video i want to thank all my patreons again you guys can go out and support my work on patreon this will actually push me to upload more videos and see you in the next video ciao